April 29, 2003. It is a day Jim Fitzpatrick and his family will never forget. In Atlanta, from his home in Boston, he was at a business dinner. I went into a meeting, they said I was sitting there fine. I actually made a presentation in the meeting. And then the next thing I knew, I was face down on the table. Jim was having a heart attack, and as if that weren't serious enough, doctors at a local hospital also suspected he was having a potentially deadly brain aneurysm. They quickly made the decision to send Jim to Emory University Hospital. Jim, uh, by anybody's assessment, would have done poorly uh, if you look at the literature. 50% of people that have aneurysms die at home before they ever get to the hospital. People that make it to the hospital, the statistics are 50% of those die. Ellen Fitzpatrick got the call about her husband at home in Boston and quickly flew to Atlanta, where she met Dr. Samuels. And I said, oh, I understand my husband's at the Harvard of the South. And he said, oh, we consider ourselves better. And I said to him, good answer. Looming over everything was how to address the aneurysm. Dr. Samuels advocated a new, less invasive, and at the time, experimental approach called a coil. Meaning instead of taking him to the operating room, putting coils actually within the aneurysm, it's almost like filling a balloon with coils to completely take care of it, um, would be the best approach. It would leave him with the least amount of brain damage um, from surgery and hopefully would help him the most. You know what I said to them, okay, if that was your brother, what would you do? They said, I'd have it coiled. I said, then that's what I'll do. Three years later, the Fitzpatricks are grateful she made that decision. I might still be alive, but I don't think I'd be functioning at the level I'm functioning. I could never have received better care than I received at the Emory University when I had my aneurysm. One of the big reasons for that recovery, our commitment to neurocritical care. We have become one of the few hospitals in, in the metropolitan area and region that are providing 24 hour a day, seven day a week, comprehensive neurosurgical care. But cutting edge treatment and care is being delivered under difficult conditions. With more and more critical neurological cases coming to Emory, patients are treated in three different ICUs. And even with that, there simply aren't enough beds. We are refusing patients at this time from different hospitals that need the level of care that Emory Healthcare can provide. Add to that the fact that crucial equipment like CAT scan machines require a long and potentially dangerous trip through the hospital, a trip many neuro ICU patients make several times a day. Not only is it inconvenient, but patients suffer consequences when they have to be transported. And unfortunately, they have to be transported. Patients aren't the only ones affected. Waiting areas for families who are often at the hospital for weeks at a time are, to say the least, less than ideal. This is not a hotel room, definitely. This is a waiting area. There's a very little facility to sleep here. There's no shower facility or restroom. It's dark and dank, dreary. You know, the lights that you turn on are bright fluorescent lights that are harsh. Pretty tough, to be perfectly, perfectly honest. I mean, you know, we don't have any privacy, we don't have any security. All of that is about to change dramatically. At Emory University Hospital, we are building the ICU of the 21st century. Put it in the hand. An ICU that houses its own CAT scan machine. An ICU designed to provide the most efficient and effective workflow for caregivers. And an ICU that recognizes the needs of patient families with dedicated private rooms adjacent to their loved ones. It will be a facility that matches in design what Emory already delivers in care. Care like that received by Jim Fitzpatrick, who didn't just survive. Two years after leaving the hospital, he danced with his daughter on her wedding day. You know, it's a miracle to us. That is a miracle. Small little miracle. Who knows if he didn't get the great treatment in Kia that he got at Emory. Our situation could be very different. <laughs>